Right, back to Skirmish by Argent Agent. This is map 10, God's Plan. And it comes complete with church organ music. So, the opening section of this map, don't get a lot of ammo. And so I'm gonna try and get these lot in fighting a little, and then just sort of push in. And there's more ammo this way. So I can grab some rockets and get out. And then I can start dealing with things in the plasma rifle. Until I run out, it is. So this um, oops. this map's very corridor shooty. Uh, so there's a little bit of slaughter, but a lot of it you can actually hide from. But there's a opening's got a lot of this sort of one by one. Revealing enemies. So this, this sort of playing duck and cover. I'm not going to worry about the center area for for the moment. It's full of make you buy. We'll get there eventually. Grab all this cell ammo. trying too hard to, to get things in fighting, there's so little space to move. It's a little in fighting, it's pretty good. And around here we have some chain gunners. So steal a chain gun. And so again, it's not really you have to deal with those sort of slaughter element very hit on, you can just duck and cover around the corners. Don't actually, you don't get armor until sort of halfway through this map, which is a bit annoying. So, in this corner, some pain elementals and a baron. So, more ducking and covering. Nice. The baron's in fighting at least. So get in, get this, get these shells as well. And can we get those shells? Alright, so now I've got the red key. So push it up here. And, and if you saw the teleport fog there, that was a vile teleporting way. He's over there now. Hopefully we can coax him down here a little bit. We might get stuck in fighting. Nope. Alright, let's move on, I guess. Uh, so, more duck and cover shooting down here. More getting shot in the face. And there's some armor down there finally. And here comes the file. So I think this is definitely not my favorite map in the set. Um, I find it very, it's very cover shooting. Um, kind of forces you to slow the pace down a little bit. Plasma. 
And there's a fair amount of just plasma ringing enemies one by one. Should be able to use some rockets now. But I don't even have rockets. That's annoying. Um, one more something. Oh, shells? Nope. Bullets. Jerk. <laughs> Five rockets. Uh, just going to plasma this lot down. You have really bad visibility as well, which doesn't help. Um, it doesn't matter too much plasma because there is a heap of plasma ammo. He has shells on this guy. Cool. Uh, I'll leave those, shell, uh, those cells for the moment so they can grab them later. And, and now that I have some relative peace and quiet, I can go for a secret, which is over here somewhere. So this, this set of lights is flickering. Oops. Push the switch. And then that reveals the secret soul sphere here. Uh, so now I need to get the BFG, which is in the in this uh, on top of that pillar. You can see it there. So where you get it is you push this big BFG button. And I'm just gonna wait for it to reset. Alright, here we go. And so I'm gonna grab it and immediately get out. There's a bunch of cyber demons spawn in there. Uh, but by teleporting over here, it's kind of pretty safe. It's also going to get the cybers infighting with some minky by that have spawned in the middle. <laughs> cyber demons riding the lift up and down. The um, BFG platform doesn't, doesn't block monsters so they can stand on it and they get stuck going up and down. Just looks quite funny. Uh, but in the meantime, we can just kind of hang here and kill the mancubi that spawn in here. There's lots of infighting going on still. So, not the most exciting way to do this map, but it is a um, pretty reliable way to do it. And uh, rockets, I guess. I think this is definitely one where uh, the deathmatch gameplay is probably much better than the uh, single player gameplay. Gonna check. Yeah, what's still still infighting. It's just gonna just gonna take out the lot that kind of struggling around. And, uh, so we also have the blue key now. Although heading off to the blue door does run us a mega sphere. I'm already at 200-200. How? I'm not even worried about. So these cybers are really, really annoying to deal with, but one way that I've found is you can use the BFG ball basically on their stairs and then step up to get the traces to hit the cybers and see if this works. No, maybe not the best shot, but I might come this way. Yeah. Got one. Just trying to walk in is pretty, pretty ballsy. Alright, another one. Whoops. 
Let's time it. Come this way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not the best BFG prop, but it worked. Yeah, let's probably just go in and deal with this guy. Cool. Um, stock up on cells. And then the blue door is up here somewhere. Uh, here. So I guess we're here, grab a megasphere. And then when we go through the yellow door, it's going to spawn in some files. And if you're quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Settle down. Uh, yeah, if you're quick there, you can get a couple of the vials out of the way pretty quick. Uh, one of them you can actually pin in the. Um, before you tell the bots away. Yeah, and that's that's the map. Done. So it was God pl God's plan. Uh, so I'm a bit middling on that map. I think it's a bit... Uh, just sort of forces you into this like cover shooter playing, um, which is a bit less enjoyable than the sort of more open plan slaughter fights. Uh, I think you, you probably can play this one quite aggressively, but I think it probably gets very grindy at that point. You probably die a lot trying to push your way in, like especially you say trying to grab the BFG early. Um, it can be difficult with all the Mancubi still in there because uh, they can just they can just block you on the way in or the way out. So uh, I'm sure it's doable. I just I think it'll be a lot more grindy. So I just played it this way so it doesn't take me forever. And um, thanks for watching.